going to show you what was in pallet number two. There were seven total pallets. I spent $85 each, $85.71 each to be exact. Shipping was $350 for the whole seven pallets, so about $50 each, leaving me a total of $130 invested in this one pallet. But before we get started, I want to remind you, if you want to be entered into the giveaway, all you have to do is subscribe. If you haven't already, hit the bell icon below. It might be over there too. I, I really don't know. Also like the video and leave a comment below. The items I'm giving away are a dream light. This appears to be still new in the package. We've got this Star Wars figure that's coming off of the card. We've got a set of Doctor Who Bluetooth speakers. These are going for decent money online as well as a single Doctor Who Bluetooth speaker. Both of them have a little bit of dents and whatnot in the packaging. We've got a watch that I really hope works. We've got an Xbox One headset, still factory sealed in the package. We've got Force of Will, it's got some cards and other stuff, just a whole bunch of stuff in there. And we've got three of these color changing Ghostbusters mugs. When they heat up, when you put your coffee in, it says who you're gonna call. So 10 people will each win one of these items on July 5th, 2018. All you have to do is like, comment, and subscribe. Now, you're here for something else. You're here to see what's in that pallet. So let's go see what's in that pallet. Bring the tripod over here. Let's start with the stuff on the floor. I am going to flip you around. Right here, I honestly don't know if I'm gonna be able to sell any of these things. This is a tether pole for a dog to tug on. It so sounds like there's supposed to be something that you pound into the ground and none of them have it unless this comes off or something. I'm not sure. But anyways, there's a whole bunch of these. Only one still has the tag on it. Maybe I'll get five bucks for all of them. I've also got a whole bunch of these CB antennas. This one's out of the package, but most of these look new. Maybe a little package damage. I don't know how an antenna can really have functionality issues. It's basically just a metal wire, but you never know. I am probably just going to sell these a lot locally, see what I can get for them, send them to auction. I got a big box here full of these blood pressure monitors, or I'm sorry, the blood pressure cuffs. That's falling out of the package that goes onto the, the thing. A whole box full of them. Some of these are going for like 17 bucks on eBay. Not going to get a whole lot. Some of them are kind of cheap. So maybe we'll just sell the ones that we can on eBay and all of the others will go in one big pile in the auction. This was a solid item. This is a camera, motion activated camera with a light. This thing is. Someone says maybe for, the, for a CB radio. Yes, that's what those antennas are for, for a CB radio. So this is a camera with an LED light that is motion activated. On eBay, these are selling new for $180, refurbished for $150. Because it's all out of the package like this, it does look like it was connected. I will have to figure out how to test it. But once tested, I think I could have no problem getting 100 maybe $120 for this after shipping and fees, maybe 80 to 100 bucks. This is gonna pay for the pallet, everything else is just profit. We've got a whole bunch more Doctor Who Bluetooth speakers. That TARDIS one is the most valuable one of them all. All the TARDIS ones seem to be going for the most, almost $100, between 80 to 100 bucks for that one speaker. Now, of course, I'm gonna sell it as a set right there, but nonetheless, we'll get to these boxes in a minute. I've got a pasta machine motor. It goes on your pasta maker and it's a motor so you don't need to crank it. I've got this Summoner Wars master set. I'm not even, I didn't even look inside to see if there's anything in it and I can't get it open. It feels heavy, there's stuff in it. Yeah, screw it. I've got this karaoke set that I'm gonna need to test out. That's gonna be a fun test. I've got two of these straw dispensers. This one is broken, this one is not. You fill the top with straws and you spin that to get one out. Uh, this will probably end up on eBay, as well as, what is that, an electric kettle. Those usually don't go for much. I'll probably just send that to a local auction. I think those are like 15 bucks new normally. We've got one of these horse balls. If you remember from the first video, there's a whole bunch of them. They are, it's a 40 inch, 
inflatable ball. Two more Halloween costumes. Now under the HBA, I've got 60 bottles of this Jergens hand wash. These are not valuable. They actually sell them at Dollar Tree, same size and everything, unfortunately. But I see no reason why when I have the warehouse sale, I can't get a buck a piece. That's a $60 box right there if I sell each one for a dollar each. Here's some mismatched HBA. There was some more of these laying around. I tossed them in here. Some more of these tanning lotions. These are $8.49, I believe, at Walmart. So I think I looked them up and I'm getting about five bucks each after shipping and fees on eBay. I'm not sure if I want to go that route, but I just need to make one listing and just watch them sell here and there. It won't take long. Uh, I got some makeup, got some frizzies. This is detangler, I guess, for horses. Uh, what else is in here? Some, oh, Steve Rakin will like this, apple cider vinegar pills. Uh, I know he likes to drink that stuff. More frizzies. What are these? Spray, spray and wash? Uh, stain removal. So I guess that's not HBA, but I threw it in that box. I've also got another spice rack. This is the third one here. Someone says this is not for horses. Well, there's pictures of horses on it, so I just assumed. I didn't look that close. Nonetheless, it's detangler. <clears throat> so anyways, I got the spice rack. I looked this up on Amazon. It's, they sell it for 35 bucks new, so this is going to go in the auction. 16 jars. It is brand new. It's just got some box damage. This is the third one that I got. Uh, I've got a brand new Minnie Mouse chair. I don't see any damage to it. It's not bent up or anything, unless it's stained behind this, which does not appear to be. So, Minnie Mouse chairs. Uh, let's see, a couple of beach sets for kids. There's a rake, a hoe, and a shovel in there. Got two of those. Should get five bucks a piece for those. And these high reach hooks. Uh, these are great for retail if you've got clothing really high. I'm sure you've seen them at like Kohl's or JCPenney. I don't know if there's any practical use for someone to use them in their home unless they've got really, really tall ceilings in their closet. But I don't know, maybe a couple dollars each. We got two more of these adult activity pillows. Oh, what else do we have? Oh, I got myself a new girlfriend. The current one wasn't working out, so I got this one, Snow White. And when she sees this, my actual girlfriend is going to be pissed. So, anyways, let's move on to the next stuff. We've got some boxes of stuff here. This is, like, cookware and whatnot. We've got a uh, microwave bacon. Ooh, I might have to buy that myself. Microwave bacon pan. We've got a random pot lid. It looks almost like this was sold individually. Uh, but we got that. Some sort of sieve or strainer and then some measuring cups. I'm not quite sure what this is. Uh, it's got holes in it, so it's not a bowl. It almost looks like it's a lid for something, and there should be a handle there. You know what? I bet this is the lid that goes on, like, fancy dinners like you see in the movies where they lift it off to reveal what it is. And we've got another pan down there. This box, all in all, I don't know, maybe 15 bucks or so. Uh, this box is filled with collectibles. This one's an empty box. I just pulled out to show you that there are empty boxes. Uh, we've got whatever this is. Someone says the strainer goes for $30. Oh, that's nice. This thing is... Oh, no, it's open. I was going to say it's brand new. This is open. It is Mystic Veil. Um, I'm not sure. We've got some My Little Pony collector cards. We've got Funko Pops, a whole bunch... Ooh, World of Warcraft. Uh, a couple of these flashes. A whole bunch more of these Draculas. Some have the figures, some don't. Very poor package design. It comes apart very easily, apparently. And this is brand new. It looks like it is a Transformers uh, model that you make. And it's still factory sealed. Uh, what else do we have in here? There's this. Another one of these things. Just some random figures and whatnot. A whole bunch of collectibles. Almost all of them have messed up boxes. However, if you just want this to display on your shelf, you don't want the box, it's a slam dunk. Sell it for a dollar or two each. Here's some of the better items that I set aside. Another one of these, and this one is factory sealed. The other one was cut open. It is a battery kit for Motorola walkie-talkies, and I will be saving this because I sell a lot of those, and it's always nice to replace the batteries. We've got a baby holder for your dog. If you want to be a kangaroo, this is the product for you. All right, we've got another one of these dream lights. This one has a pretty messed up package. I don't know if it's open or not. 
We've got two sets of these. This one is missing half the packaging. And I believe this one is still factory. No, this one's open too. Uh, but it does have the whole packaging. We've got some window markers and some sugar thing that gives you perfect portions or something like that. Moving on up here, this is just kind of the cheap dollar here, dollar there item. Socks for your puppy. We've got a pillow pet. This appears to be unused. I'm not even quite sure what that is. This looks like a collapsible bowl. Uh, let's see, we've got tattoo sleeve cover-ups. Uh, both sleeves. I actually didn't know what they were because they weren't in the package, and then I found the package. We've got, looks like some lids for disposable cups. Some Raid, Roach Killer. A uh, scoop for something, a whole bunch of little metal scoops. I don't know, for like peanuts or something. Uh, some sort of hooks, I guess. A turquoise tape dispenser. Um, oh, these are heel lifts for your shoes and another scoop. I've got more tape dispensers. Survival Magic on DVD. I don't even know if the disc is in here. Let's check. Yeah, it's in there. Uh, some multi-sided dice. Here's another bag full of them. Looks like different amounts. Uh, this looks like envelopes. Some sort of organizer. This is all the cheap stuff that really isn't worth much. Another tape dispenser. A hairbrush for curling. Um, let's see. Uh, for cards, this is the plastic sleeves. Uh, waterproof cover-up underwear. Some really random stuff. This is some sort of grip clip lock. Slip grip click lock. Say that five times fast. I believe this is sleeves for coins. You put your two by twos in there. And one of these TV things. I found a bunch of those in the last pallet. And this is a little strap for something. And I believe that is everything. So to summarize, I'm gonna make my money back right here. These are gonna be a good product. I think this will probably sell for about 30 bucks or so. All this HBA stuff is probably going to bring me about $100. $60 for that box at a dollar each. And, I mean, these I should be able to get about five each. Maybe I can wholesale them to someone for two or three. Uh, you know, all different things here. Probably about 100 bucks there. And then just all the smalls, all the collectibles, the dollar sale stuff will easily bring me probably another hundred bucks or so. So let's see, that's one, two, three. I, I, I expect between 400 and 450 on this pallet. So I hope, oh, and there's Snow White too. I could probably get 10 bucks, 10, 15 bucks for her. I sell my women here at resalerabbit.com. So I get some more down here too from the last pallet. Anyways, um, Four to five hundred dollars somewhere in there. I paid a hundred and thirty with shipping for this pallet. I am really excited. I've got what five more back here that I still need to go through. I glanced through the top, but there's a lot of stuff on the bottom yet. I think I'm gonna do really well with this load. I've already contacted the company to place another order for their remaining twelve pallets. So yeah, let's uh, let's go through the rest one. Hope you enjoyed it.